The drive chain engages all the plastic sprockets of the power roller system. This is the normal sag of the drive chain between the plastic sprockets. The drive sprocket is directly mounted on a gear motor shaft with a key stock. After replacing the gear motor, run the motor without the key stock to confirm the direction of rotation is the same as the arrows. Stop the motor and turn the disconnect switch off. Manually rotate the sprocket to line up the keyway. Then replace the key stock and tighten both set screws before starting the motor again. The chain take-up can be adjusted two ways. First disconnect the power to the system to avoid accidental start. For small adjustments, loosen the gear motor mounting screws and lower the motor assembly and tighten the screws. For a large adjustment, remove the desired number of drive chain links. Some systems may have radio guides provided at the turns of the power roller conveyor. The distance between these guides should be adjusted to make sure that the dish rack can be easily guided through the turns to the dish machine. Apply food grade grease to the bushings and the rollers as and when required. Do not over lubricate the bushings.